And well, today we got to look at the train station that will take Islander fans to UBS Arena. Now we just need the <laughs> arena to open, Kevin. It'll be here five days away, and I think fans can wait five days after waiting more than 20 years for the Islanders to get a new home. Saturday's opening game sold out in minutes when the tickets went on sale. 17,000 people fought to be among the first ones in. The lucky ones got those tickets, and Islanders owner John Ledecky says he can't wait to see their reaction to the finished product. This is their building. Um, they feel like they built it, and that's the best thing an owner in sports can ask for. Talking to 400 fans each of the last three years about what they wanted in an arena and now being able to deliver it, so important, right? Now, we're going to have little bumps in the road. We're, we're scrambling to finish things. You know, they've asked me to start painting walls and stuff. We're going to do whatever it takes to get our building open. But I think the fans are going to recognize what we're doing for them and with them, and that's the most important thing. Okay, you've been around this place a lot more than I have. Give me one or two things that if I'm a fan on opening night, you've got to go see. Well, the first thing is the inclusive nature of the arena, right? So, you know, most arenas, there's always a rope. You can't go here, you can't go there. In this building, we're going to let people go where they want to go, and it's open to the public. So the Heineken bar, which usually would be a closed-off, you know, premium bar, open to the public. Mm -hmm. The outside uh, terrace, where you can actually see the paddock at Belmont Park and, and have food and have a drink outside, open to the public. So the major spaces that we built here, we wanted to, the fan said, John, don't make it a corporate suit building. We're Islander fans. We want to be able to celebrate together. The tailgate bar, which is a section up top where you can stand and watch the game. It's kind of got an English soccer type feel. Absolutely, yeah. and that's exactly what it was modeled after. Yeah. Are you hoping that this is the envy of everybody in the NHL, that people are going to come to you now and go, John, how did you do this? Tell me, I want to put this in my building. Well, I would tell you this. We did a tour of every National Hockey League arena, so I'm thankful to the other owners because they gave me their best practices. We're able to incorporate the best of the best. So I hope when NHL owners come here, they go, hey, John, you, you remember to do what we do over here, or, oh, wow, I recognize that over there. And so imitation is the finest form of flattery. We've tried to build a building that's unique and different, but also incorporates these best practices. And if you have tickets to a game or a concert, check out the UBS Arena Guide on News12.com. It has directions, parking, rideshare information, even links to the hotels nearby. And you can see my full interview with John Ledecky on our website as well. Here we go, Rich. Countdown's on five days.